why that was hardly anybody. Good afternoon, everyone. There we go, that's better. Right, here come our sea lions then, jumping up onto their stand. Let's see you giving them a nice big wave to welcome them up. There we go, they'll give you a nice wave back as well. Welcoming you all to the arena this afternoon. So what we're going to do is introduce them all to you one by one so you get to know who's who. And we're going to start off with our youngest, this is Lara, she's seven years old, and as you can see, she has loads of energy. And then next to her over here, we have got Bailey. Now, Bailey is our biggest show off. She's eight years old. Check her out. We do, of course, also have a male sea lion. His name is Dominic. He is eight years old, but he won't be joining us this afternoon. He's having a bit of a break. But he will be in the four o'clock show. Do feel free to go and visit him inside after the show. Now here at Witch Lane we do of course have Californian sea lions and as the name suggests they are found in California and as far south as Mexico. We do hear you calling them seals all the time don't we guys and what do we think? It's absolutely terrible, how terrible is it Bailey? Very, very terrible indeed. Because they are in fact very different, there's many differences between the two so we're going to run through some of them. The first one is the size of their flippers so we want to see everybody's hands just like this. Let's see everybody's hands, that's it. Right, if you take a look at your hand, it's roughly the size of a seal's front flipper, which is pretty small, but check out the size of our sea lion's front flippers. There we go, as you can see, they are much larger and much more impressive. But to show you just how strong these are, we're gonna do something extra special now, and you definitely wouldn't see a seal doing anything like this. There we go showing you just how strong their front flippers are there. But the reason why they get so embarrassed when they're called seals is because seals are very unagile out on the land. And Laura does a fantastic seal impression. <laughs> there we go. A little bit like a caterpillar, not the most exciting thing. But to show you how agile our sea lions are, in comparison, the girls are gonna take a run all the way up to the top of the beach over there. And that's it, all the way up to the top. Good girls. There we go, as you can see, they don't have any trouble getting up and down the beach over there. And it is important they can get about nice and easily, as sea lions spend a lot of time breathing, eating, and even sleeping out on the land. So what we're gonna do for this next part is bring them really nice and close to everybody. But it is very important if you are around the barrier, if you can stay seated for us. So we need everybody really nice and still for this part. They are gonna jump up very close. So if parents can help us out for this part as well. Here they come then. Give everybody a little wave. There we go. So if you have a look on the side of their heads, <laughs> if you have a look on the side of their heads, they've got external ear flaps, which look a little bit like Shrek ears, just on the side of their heads here. Now in comparison, seals just have a hole on the side of their head, which opens and closes as they enter and leave the water. And if you have a look on the side of their noses, they've got long white whiskers. And these whiskers allow them to detect motions in the water, allowing them to catch their fish in dark and murky waters as well. Now hopefully they're going to come say hello to everybody over this side. There we go. Well done, girls. But you may think these sea lions are very horrible and slimy, but they are in fact covered in a layer of fur. So if we ruffle some of Lara's up, no? She's gone, right, she's had enough. We'll ruffle some of Paley's up and show you the layer of fur that they are covered in. Now this goes flush against their body when they're wet, making them nice and streamlined and able to move very quickly in the water. Come on, Lara. Dear me, we've still got another demonstration to go. Good girl, well done. Thank you everybody for staying seated for us for that part. It's very important. So give yourselves and of course our sea lions a big round of applause. Now we've shown you how a seal and a sea lion moves out on the land, but we're going to show you how a seal moves in the water. Lara's very good at doing this impression. There we go. Very, very elegant indeed. So if you saw there, she just moves the lower part of her body a little bit like a fish. But she's going to show you how agile sea lions are in comparison. There we go. Massive splash as well. Thanks for that, Lara. Propelling herself through the water there. Now, another 
one thing you definitely wouldn't see a seal doing is something like this. Now we're going to play a game. Who can see Laura first? I wonder. There she is. <laughs> well done. Livening everybody up this afternoon. That is Laura. <laughs> the reason why our C9 House and Arena is a no food zone is because of the amount of rubbish that can be left behind after the demonstrations. This rubbish can quite easily blow into our sea lion pool, just like that. Bailey's a very inquisitive sea lion. She will investigate anything she finds. So she's played with the rubbish, but oh no, everybody, she has choked and she's died. Right, I actually hear laughter. We need an R, everybody. There we go, good girl, but she's back to life. A fantastic little actress. Well done, Bailey. But we want everybody to shout out exactly where you think the rubbish should go. In the bin, of course it should. Let's see if Lara knows where to put it. Yes, well done, Lara. So please be nice and responsible, just like little Lara, and make sure you take all of your rubbish away with you at the end. Now what we're going to do for this next part is get you all nice and warmed up. So we want all of the children on their feet for this next part. What we're going to do is check that our sea lines are fit and healthy and we want to see if you are too. So let's see if you can do this part just as good as these guys can. So what we're going to do, we're going to start off by doing some spinning on the spot. So we want to see you all spinning around. Are we ready? Let's see you spinning. That's it. Well done. Almost as good as the sea lines there. Now let's see then if we can do some star jumps. Can we see you all star jumping? Lara, that's you as well. There we go, well done. Excellent stuff. Right, this next part is just for the adults because we want to see if you can do some roly polies. Right, they're laughing, baby. Do you think they're going to do it? No. Okay, these guys are going to do them for us then. One and two. Good girls. Well done. Hopefully you're nice and warmed up now and ready for the next part if you want to take your seats again for us. Now here at Wooksley we are hoping to be a breeding group. Both Laura and Bailey are completely unrelated to Dominic, so there is potential that we could have little sea lion pups. So it is very important that we carry out our husbandry behaviours. Now these allow us to check our sea lions over, making sure that they are fit and healthy. Laura, you are supposed to be rolling over for this part. Come on, give us a little roll over. There we go. So if you see there, Lara will roll, roll over and present her underneath. And this does mean that if we needed to, we could perform an ultrasound on our sea lions, making sure the pregnancy is going nice and smoothly. Now there are various other checks we can do as well. Another simple one is in their eyes and mouths, and they will give us a bit of a helping hand for this part. She's getting very, very heavy. <laughs> She'll open her mouth nice and wide there and allow us to check all 34 to 38 teeth. And we do also carry out more complex husbandry behaviours as well, such as ultrasound, blood draw and x-ray. But what we're going to do for this next part is something really quite spectacular. We're going to show you what a flying sea lion looks like. But to do this, you do have to pick your favourites and cheer as loud as you possibly can for them. So first of all, they're going to try and win your votes. Let's see if we've got any Lara fans. Right, Lara, you was actually supposed to give everybody a nice little wave then, weren't you? She's being very rude this afternoon. Let's see if we can do that again. Lara, oh, it doesn't look good. Right, so do we have any Lara fans? <laughs> right, well, you've still got some fans, Lara. Well done. Excellent job. Let's see if we've got any Bailey fans. <laughs> Louder than that. <laughs> right. Okay, it's very, very close. So I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna send Lara first. She's our youngest, so she needs loads of encouragement. Are we ready? Let's give her a cheer. Well done, Lara. And a nice little splash there as well. Hope unfortunately we haven't got Dominic out, so he isn't gonna get the blue zone wet. But we've got Bailey, so give her a cheer. Well done, Bailey. Now, would anybody like to 
see something extra special and watch both of our sea lions jump at the same time. Yeah. Right, we need double the cheer this time. Here they go. Yeah. Well done. But unfortunately, that is the end of our sea lion demonstration.